It's 8 p.m. I usually go to bed at like nine latest and I haven't finished my three liters of water. I didn't balance out my day well at all. And I have to say, I'm struggling today, but I don't want to break the challenge. I want to make sure that I drink three liters. So I'm going to just drink for the next hour before bed. <laughs> the next day. So I'm not really sure how to say this. I feel pretty embarrassed, pretty ashamed. Um, but I did promise that I would be 100% transparent and document every single thing that has happened um, throughout this hydration journey. And so last night, I, I peed my bed. I literally wet my bed last night. And now I have to tell my wife. Babes, um, can you come for a sec? Why are you recording? Oh, well, I have to tell you something. Last night, I peed in the bed. What? <laughs> that's, that's true? You didn't notice it? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't tell you last night. Has anybody else had experience peeing in the bed as an adult? Like, I think it's super weird. So I'm having watermelon for breakfast, but it doesn't count towards my three liters, even though watermelon is like, what, 90 something percent water. So yesterday was day nine and I failed. I didn't drink my three liters. I had this much left, but this line is one bottle. So one bottle and a little bit. My reason is I worked pretty late last night and I would have been able to drink it, and I, but I got home late and I knew that I was gonna be going to bed pretty soon. And to be super honest, I was afraid to pee my bed again last night. And I didn't wanna like push the water right before bed. I don't know, I'm still scarred from last night or the night before. Anyway, so one day fail, I'm gonna do all that I can to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So some good news, I drank all my water and I didn't pee the bed last night, but <laughs> this kind of happened. Babe, what, what are you doing? Okay, so there's a lot of traffic. We've been in traffic for one hour, look. I had to cancel on my client because of it. And the thing is, I'm super hydrated and I have to pee and there's nowhere for me to pee. So I found a bottle. We had a machete because we were cutting sugar cane and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so that I can pee in this bottle because there's no other way out. I'm dying to pee. So. I can't hold it anymore. No, anything? Nothing. I have to bring this seat up a little bit. Okay. Looks like a nice enough bathroom. Incredible. Can I fit? Go, go for it, go for it. It's gonna fall. What? Wait, yeah. there's pee everywhere? No, no, no. I, I just, it's full, but I have more pee. Oof, baby, don't drop it. I won't. <laughs> this is the most disgusting. <laughs> I need to throw it out. I hey, throw it in the wind, on the windows. Yeah, but not right here. Right here? Wait. Yes, baby, no one in the window. Come on. Yes, there's a guy watching me right now. I still have to do more. <gasps> okay, go for it. <laughs> if this is not love, one hour later. I'm so pain. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> okay, now I'm done. Now I'll throw it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel so much better now. We have toilet paper? No, we don't have toilet paper. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. We have this paper. <laughs> she's taking it. She's taking it. I want to say that after this, I want to be. I want to be a married. You want a divorce? I want a divorce. This overpassed the limits. Look, I could have peed in my pants. Would you prefer that? Yes. Yes, because if you pee on your pants, this is an excuse, you know? I prefer you you try to go to your limits, you know? Try to go to my limit? Yeah. That was my limit! So a quick sum up of week two. As far as sleep and energy and clarity, I would say that I haven't seen any more improvement from last week to this week, but it is still a lot better from when I first started, and it has just been continuing that way. It's been maintaining. Eye bags? Well, 
In my opinion, I think they're, they're not getting any better. But take a look and decide for yourself. As far as my weight goes, I've been exactly the same. I took a before and after video showing my stomach. I would say that I actually look leaner if I'm comparing the images. However, the, the scale has been saying the same. I do feel like my veins are showing a lot more. I think that has to do with being hydrated. I also think that my face is more full, but in my body shots, I, I feel like I do look leaner, although the scale has been the same. So as you guys have already seen, my difficulty with peeing in public and in my bed, I swear, if the world was hydrated, we would have porta potties everywhere. Because if all of us had to pee 13 times per day, there's no way that <laughs> we could survive sitting in traffic or whatever being in, in a public place for more than an hour without having <laughs> without having to pee. As far as how difficult it's been, during the end of last week I felt like I was starting to get into the habit of drinking again, but there were some days this week that I struggled to get the three liters of water in. And I think that was just poor planning on my part. I was thirsty for the water, it wasn't that I didn't need the water or want the water, it was just that I didn't have access to the water and so I had to make the effort to bring the water with me in order to get it down. As far as the cramping goes, super good news. I am physically not able to make myself cramp anymore. However, I haven't really been able to test it racing yet, so I came up with this idea. My idea is to put a real test to see if my cramping is really gone and if this hydration challenge has helped that by emulating the exact race that I did in Guadeloupe. So the same temperature, the same time of day, the same distance and see if I can get through that without any cramping. Look at this beautiful day. So I'll see you next week for the final results and the whole recreation of the race that I did.